Hello and welcome to Adelante Chicago. I'm Ana Belaval. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's been decades since the Latino community began to make its mark on Chicago politics. WGN's Lourdes Duarte has a look at how Hispanics have changed Chicago's political landscape. Latino representation within every level of government has certainly increased over the last few decades. At Chicago City Hall, the Latino caucus has become one of the most dynamic, but leaders say they still have a long way to go. Open the doors of city council chambers and you'll see a lot of new faces, many of them representing Chicago's growing Latino neighborhoods. People like 33rd Ward Alderman Rosana Rodriguez Sanchez and 22nd Ward Alderman Michael Rodriguez. The Latino community is it's, it's definitely increasing its muscle when it comes to political empowerment. Together, along with 10 others, they form the city council's Latino caucus. They estimate Chicago is 30% Latino or so, and right now the Latino caucus is about 23% of city council. We're moving in the right direction. However, we're not at that targeted uh, uh, number for parity. Alderman Gilbert Villegas has seen the evolution through the decades, and so have many Chicagoans. Not too long ago, there was like two members in the, in the city council. The video is a little fuzzy, but identifiable. Once Alderman later became Congressman Chuy Garcia. The struggle to get here has been uh, slow. It's been three decades since the Latino community began to make its mark on Chicago politics, focusing on things like immigration, education, and crime. I think it's quite natural for any immigrant group coming to this country to experience their political power over decades. The idea of Chicago becoming a sanctuary city to its immigrant community first came up in the early 80s as the Latino population grew during the Harold Washington administration. In the late 80s, Mayor Daley signed 13 executive orders reaffirming fair and equal access to employment regardless of nationality and citizenship. And under Mayor Emanuel, Chicago became in 2012 what he called the most immigrant-friendly city in the country. It was a real time of change at that point. I think we're experiencing another real time of change. There is a real vibrancy and an optimism about the future. We have to also become strategic coalition builders that we have to band with other groups that are struggling for equity in Chicago. Rodriguez, a newly elected alderman in Little Village, is seeing the contributions on a state level as well. We just had one of the most amazing sessions in Springfield, the most, one of the most impactful sessions in a generation. And young Latinas and Latinos were driving a lot of that change. In one way or another, Latino legislators on every level are moving the conversation forward. In the last few years, the city's Latino caucus has focused on building even more Latino leadership, establishing a training program. Angelica Alfaro just finished it. She's also the first in her family to go to college. I just see the potential in our communities, but unfortunately not a very clear path all the time. We need to be able to ensure that we have our voices at the table. She doesn't want those tables to only be the ones inside city council chambers. Less than 3% of the, of the corporate boards uh, are made up of Latinos. The caucus hoping to make an impact on that 3% as Chicago's Latino community keeps growing with Cook County now designated to have the fifth largest Latino population in the country. There has to be diversity. Diversity is the strength of the city. The city's Latino caucus has also focused on raising dollars to provide opportunities for many of the young people today. In the last few years, in fact, they've handed out $320,000 in scholarships. I'm Lourdes Duarte, WGN News.